One of this nation's founders of liberty goes by the name of Truth, Sojourner Truth. She was born around 1797. She named herself in 1843 when she was about 31. Truth didn't know the exact date of her birth or her family history because she was born a prisoner of a Dutch slaver in what would later be known as the New York Catskills. The Hardenburg estate, like so many slave plantations, met the definition of a concentration camp, a place imprisoning large numbers of persecuted people for forced labor or to await execution. Truth's parents, along with a group of lifelong captives, were held in the dark cellar of the main house. Because she was raised by her Dutch slavers, Truth spoke fluent Dutch, not English. That's why she didn't understand the orders being shouted at her when she was nine years old, after being auctioned off to a local storekeeper who severely beat her as punishment. After years of torture and abuse of all kinds, her captor promised to let her go on the 4th of July, 1826, when she turned 29 years old. But he broke his promise. Sojourner would later dictate in her autobiography, her conversations with God compelled her to take her infant daughter, Sophia, and go. Truth was assisted by another Dutch couple, and with their help, she went to the New York Supreme Court and won custody of her son, Peter, who she'd been unable to take with her. Truth became one of the first black women to win a case against a slaver, and she felt God was now compelling her to testify the hope that was in her. And so she began speaking and speaking and drawing larger and larger audiences. Year after year, decade after decade, she spoke and inspired and moved people, becoming one of the most influential leaders of the entire Civil War era. A Boston paper wrote of one of her speeches, seldom is there an occasion of more attraction or greater general interest. Every available space of sitting, standing room was crowded. When threatened by a mob in Northampton, Massachusetts, Truth just sang, bringing the crowd into a state of quiet. She scolded poorly raised, hissing white children, reminding them of their Bibles to honor their father and mother. She recruited troops during the Civil War to end slavery. She rode streetcars to protest segregation. She was invited to the White House to meet with President Lincoln. And after his assassination, she met with President Ulysses S. Grant. She spoke about women's rights, prison reform, the abolition of capital punishment, property rights. She tried to secure reparations in the form of land grants for enslaved Americans who were now set free. And she tried to vote, but she was turned away at the polls. When she left this world in 1883, the great abolitionist leader Frederick Douglass said truth had been for the last 40 years an object of respect and admiration to social reformers everywhere. Historian Martha Jones wrote that truth told her own stories, ones that suggested a women's movement might take another direction, one that championed the broad interests of all humanity. May we honor the legacy of Sojourner Truth, one of our founding mothers of liberty, by carrying on the good work she started 150 years ago.